Hello guys, uh, this is the first video in a series of uh, videos on uh, Kafka with the uh, Spring Cloud Stream and uh, Docker. In this first video, I'm going to talk about uh, how to um, set up a Docker image for Kafka, how to set up a project with the uh, Spring Cloud Stream, uh, and how to test it, make sure it's working. Uh, in the next video, we're going to actually talk about uh, the code and uh, produce some messages to uh, Kafka. Uh, and we talk about how to, uh, what the channels are, what the topics are uh, uh, in detail. And the third video, which is the last in this series, I want to talk about setting up a consumer, so uh, how to consume. And this is all with the Spring Cloud Stream. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so with Kafka with the Spring Cloud Stream, it gives you a power of Kafka uh, with the you know familiarity and added abstraction of Spring framework, uh, and and, and the additional uh, advantage of uh, using a Spring Cloud Stream is uh, you can switch and plug a different middleware. Uh, if you want to switch from Kafka to RabbitMQ or uh, from ActiveMQ. Uh, it's just a configuration setup. It's very easy. Uh, so the first thing to do is uh, um, go to uh, Spring Initializer website. Um, so you get the you get the Spring Boot project, and uh, basically add two things: Cloud Stream. Uh, this one here. Uh, and then uh, add Kafka <clears throat> and then uh, download the project uh, obviously change uh, the group and artifacts uh, the way you like uh, save the file and download the project and import into your IDE uh, so I imported mine already uh, as you can see uh, so the, basically I want to show you you should get uh, this is Gradle uh, you should get these Three dependencies already when you do that uh, one is a spring cloud stream one is the binder for Kafka and the Kafka itself so what, one thing that the binders so you may have uh, you may have different binders for a different middleware so depending for example RabbitMQ has its own binder so once you have it uh, I think your product is uh, pretty much a, a setup so the next thing is docker uh, let's let's set up uh, actually let's set up Kafka server. Uh, so the, for Docker, there are a few options for Docker image uh, when it comes to Kafka. Uh, I found this one to be the easiest and, and the simplest to set it up. The primary reason though is it comes with the Zookeeper bundle together, so the both are in the same uh, image, uh, and other images have seen they are separate you got to get zookeeper and then you have to get kafka and then you have to configure them link them so the reason i like this is because everything is in one image you just see it run run this directly and it runs and it's good to go so that's why i recommend this uh, <clears throat> so once you have a, so basically you know there are commands and how to run and stuff here uh, I had to change it a little bit for my uh, setup here. Uh, so basically, you got to, this is the command, you got to run. Uh, I spent like a few hours struggling with this, it didn't work because I was trying to run on a remote machine, it's not in the, it's not in the same machine. Uh, so my Docker server is uh, uh, remote, so I, I had some issues, I ran into a uh, few errors and stuff. Uh, I'm going to link all the commands and the errors you may face, everything in my blog post, I'm going to link that in the description below. So one thing that you want to be careful is when you run this, uh, you, you if, especially if you're running in a, if you're running locally, everything on the same mission, producer, Kafka, Zookeeper, consumer in the same mission, I think you're good to go. If that's not the case, then you have to add this add host. Uh, to your run command so what it does is basically uh, whenever it sees the server name in my case which is DMIRA it resolves to uh, localhost the reason for that is uh, uh, 
the, the reason for that is uh, the advertised host, or, uh, the, the one right here, uh, is used as a host name to publish to Zookeeper for clients to use. Uh, so, so because they are in the same container, Zookeeper and Kafka, if you provide a server, it doesn't mean anything. So that's why it has to be resolved to localhost. So that's the key thing. Otherwise, you may run into leader not available, uh, correlation ID uh, error uh, while fetching uh, metadata issues. You know, so those kind of things. So that's some key thing to remember. Uh, and next thing is, uh, so next, once you have it running, just go to your local machine where you have uh, Kafka installed and try to connect to the server. Or if you have everything in one machine, you're good to go. Uh, create a topic. Uh, just run this, um, and it should you should get the confirmation from uh, Kafka. And once you have that, see if uh, you can uh, uh, view topics, view a list of topics. Uh, and that's pretty much it for this uh, video, guys. This is part one. In the next video, we're going to talk in, in detail about code, uh, how to set up uh, channels. Uh, and uh, we'll uh, post uh, produce some messages to Kafka. Thank you. Bye.